Okay, I don't know why it's saying there's an error. Oh well, I'm gonna try this anyway. It saves to my phone. I might have to send it up by YouTube later, but it says there's an error trying to connect mm -hmm. my video to Twitter. So I don't know if y'all can hear. I see that there's two watchers. Can you all hear me? Can you see? Anyway, today mm -hmm. I am doing some non-toxic DIY shampoo. Remember, if you're new to Periscope, that you tap the screen to give some hearts. That lets me know you're there and that you're watching and participating. Also, for a Android, if you swipe up and down, there's a share that you can share with people. And for iPhone, it's left to right, and you can share so I can get some more viewers. So what are you all doing today on a Saturday afternoon? Hello, hello, hello. I see that I have viewers, but nobody wants to chat. Down in the lower left corner of your screen, there's a little chat bar, and you can type in, tell me where you're from, give me your name. Anyway, my name is Rosalie. I'm with thingsatwarmtheheart.net. That's where I blog, and I will be sharing this recipe later today on my blog. Also, I have a website at thingsatwarmtheheart.com, and it's up and ready to go. So right now, I'm going to show you what I use to make my homemade shampoo. Let me turn around my camera. Now, those of you who know me well, you know that I use Young Living Essential Oils. So what I'm going to do is put five drops of cedar wood, five drops of lavender, and five drops of rosemary into this container, which already has some clear, non-toxic, chemical-free aloe vera gel because my family likes their shampoo to be creamy. It can be a little bit more watery for me, but for the guys, they want that creamy shampoo feel so I'm gonna come over here also these three oils are the same oils that I use for my DIY um, hair tonic that I posted the other day but what I'm gonna do is put equal drops so five drops of each and the only essential oils that I use are Young Living I know of their purity and I can trust them I was at the farm in Highland Flats up in northern Utah, or I'm sorry, northern Idaho, this past winter for winter harvest in 2015, and we participated in the harvest of Idaho balsam fir. We actually went out and cut down the entire tree, and it went into a giant wood chipper, and then the wood chips were steam distilled carefully, and then the oil was bottled. We actually, uh, it wasn't bottled there, it was put in some stainless steel containers, but we were actually able to bottle our own oils there. Let me get a lid. What I do is put those oils into the aloe vera gel first. And the reason is because if you shake this up with the oils in there, it will turn like what I want to call like a flubber. It gets a flubber consistency, and you'll see here in a minute becomes a big chunk of there it is it's not so loose it sticks together and it binds and the oil is in there and then I use this unscented baby mild Dr. Bronner's uh, pure Castile soap do is just put about a quarter to a half inch and then I don't really shake it because all it's going to do is make bubbles. I'll stir it around. It still makes a lot of bubbles but I'll stir it. stirred up and then I'm going to put about two inches of water. I'm not going to make this entire container today. I didn't have very much aloe vera gel but I had about two inches of aloe vera gel on the bottom of that then I put a quarter to a half inch of the soap depending on how sudsy you want it and then I'm going to put about two inches of water and that's it. So non-toxic, all natural, 
DIY shampoo. There we go. Now I don't mind shaking it up if it gets bubbles. They'll settle down. And I will just go put this into my shower. And there I go. There is my shampoo. So I'll come back around and turn the camera around and see if anybody has questions. Are y'all there? Does anybody have questions? You can use the little chat bar that's down in the lower left of your screen. There's a chat bar down there. And you can ask me questions, tell me where you're from. You can also share if you're new to Periscope and you have an Android device. You just swipe up and down and it will bring up a share um, button. And then for the iPhone users, it's left to right. Then you can share with your viewers. All right, well, don't forget to go and look for my recipes at www.thingsthatwarmtheheart.net and I also have a website, thingsthatwarmtheheart.com. This is Rosalie Lopez from South Texas, a representative of Young Living Essential Oils. So I hope you all like my videos and you'll share and like. And also don't forget thingsthatwarmtheheart.net and thingsthatwarmtheheart.com. See you all later.